I was going to tie a fly called the stone goat. I suppose this is essentially a sea trout or brown trout fly, but it'll also work for salmon on locks, such as caramel. I have tied several four fellas going there. So a black thread, size 10, B175, although we could suppose use an 8 or it would be more awkward to tie as a 12 just given the type of tie in. So we put on a tail of uh, golden pheasant topping. silver rib. A body of black dubbin, this is seal. And leave a good bit here because there's several hackles involved in this fly. So we have a claret hackle. Says to the side, a magenta hackle, set that on top of our claret, and also a black hackle. So we take three hackles place them on top of each other and then hold them together I'm just going to strip a little bit down here at the butt section set all three butts on top there of the hook and bind them on so we now have the three hackles side by side so we're going to try and catch all three of them in our hackle pliers which is really not that easy. So pull them, stroke them all together, catch all, and then keep the tension on it. otherwise they'll separate from one another. Turn or two at the head and then a couple of turns to take you down to the tail. Tie that in and then wiggle our silver oval up through all of those hackles. So it actually looked a bit messy, but once you get them, get it ribbed, and you do a little bit of squeezing and preening, it starts to look more presentable. So now we need to put on the head hackle, which is uh, dyed blue guinea fowl. So I'm just going to take the tip out of that, tie it in on my side, and fold it back on itself. stroke all the fibres onto one side as we wrap this. Now this, uh, by its nature, they're quite long fibred hackles. And I suppose the idea here is to get a sort of a blue cloak. get a turn to tie that on. I'm just going to pull all back and then wrap back over the stock that's folded back here to finish it off. That's all the hackles and tying on this thing. We just need to sort the head now. So a little bit of super glue, about 10 mil or so of it, just to get it on. turn into it to hold it. So if your head falls apart the fly won't because there's that super glued 
pitch in underneath the head and then I've transferred here and I've put on uh, a bit of clear varnish onto my tie-in thread wrap the head with that so all the wraps are subsequently laying down into a ball of varnish Our stone goat.